Here's the interesting part. Both puberty and perimenopause are times of hormonal volatility. In teenagers, estrogen and progesterone are just learning to dance. And in perimenopause, they're still dancing, only that now completely out of sync. And that is why emotions can swing wildly. Your daughter may cry over a broken pencil and you might cry because she cried. She gets acne, you get hot flashes. Different ages, same confusion. The truth is, it is not in your head, it is in your hormones. And once you understand that, it is easier to be kind to yourself and to her. Now, many mothers ask me why girls are hitting puberty earlier these days. The average age for the first period is between 9 and 15, but it has been trending younger. And there are several reasons for that, like higher body weight, less physical activity, more stress, eating too much of processed and packaged foods, and even exposure to plastics and environmental hormone disruptors. So if your daughter starts young, don't panic, just start the conversation. Explain what is happening to her body and what is normal and when to seek help. And if you're using estrogen creams or gels yourself, don't worry, your hormones aren't rubbing off on her. Just apply them correctly and wash your hands after use. Puberty and perimenopause may be at opposite ends of life, but both are driven by the same hormonal chaos. And once you see that, tension turns into understanding and chaos into connection.